The use of gamer girl bath water is on the rise as lonely young men seek out any form of female contact. It has come to the attention of Thought Patrol that commonly used blue barrels that appear as match props may be containing illegal shipments of gamer girl bath water. A Phoenix-based Thought Patrol detachment has been dispatched to the Pima Pistol Club's two-gun action challenge match team event, using it as cover to investigate allegations of gamer girl bathwater trafficking. Their objectives are to identify and destroy any blue barrels containing gamer girl bathwater and rescue any gamers that have become addicted to this horrific substance. Tertiary objective, win the match and bring honor to the Thought Patrol. At the buzzer, shooters split up. On this bay, I must get one hit on each of two mini Ipsic targets at about 50 yards from three different positions. Underneath the barricade, the left side of the barricade, and the right side of the barricade. I instinctually switch to my right shoulder, shooting around the right side of the barricade. When finished, I ground my rifle on safe and move to the next bay. On the next bay, Neil has to engage similar targets through three positions on the stairs twice through the stairs and once over the top. The rifle and optic combination he is using is new to him. He's still learning his holds, particularly at the canted angles through the stairs. The cameraman is calling the hits until the RO shows up. Off to the left, you can see that I've arrived on the stage and started engaging the pistol targets. After clearing my rifle portion, I move over to the next bay to engage the pistol portion. There are two plate racks and a stop plate. Either shooter can engage as many plates on the plate racks as they wish. However, each shooter must get a final stop hit on the stop plate. I clear both plate racks and send my final stop hit, leaving Neil to only engage his final shot. Neil couldn't hear the RO calling hits. When you're waiting on RO feedback to move on, it can be a frustrating experience. Get your pistol hit. We end up sixth out of 25 teams on the stage. Hopefully we can make it up on the next one as there are only two. For safety, both rifles start chamber empty magazine inserted. My toe slips a bit as I move into position on the rooftop. Send it. We must engage these targets nearest to furthest. Neil must make his hit through the bottom before I can send my shot. With the rifle target sequence completed, I safe and ground my rifle. Neil will continue to engage the rifle targets for one more iteration through the bottom of the prop. On this side of the range, I must alternate sides of these barrels engaging these pistol poppers. Neil will have a pistol paper target to engage for score with a minimum of six hits. The best six hits will count. We will both finish on a stop plate at the back of the range. We are first out of 25 teams on this stage with only one point down on paper. In the end, we were first out of 25 teams. Our performance on the second stage allowed us to make up for our shortcomings on the first. We encountered one gamer suffering from gamer girl bathwater addiction. We rendered first aid in the form of energy drinks to purge the foul substance from his system. Unfortunately, a full recovery is not guaranteed and will take some time. A total of 10 Gamer Girl bathwater barrels were captured and destroyed by us during our investigation, limiting its distribution in the southwest for now. But given the prevalence of these barrels at matches around the country and the recent introduction of tactical yoga pants, it's difficult to know just how far this network extends. As they say, the thirst is real. Thank you for watching and come back again for more match content and whatever other weird stuff I come up with. The team match today was a surprise, so we decided to have fun with it. Hopefully you took this in the good humor that it is meant. Again, thank you for watching.